Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting, once more, Death Crux, Mutant Flesh on Sentient Rune Laboratories. This is just so fucking good, and it kind of has something in common with what I'm going to be discussing. And hailing from Sweden and making tons of year endless, even though it dropped January 18th of 2018, so it was an early bird. And oh man, is this fucking pure fire. But it's only pure fire if you kind of have an open mind and you know and like certain other bands if that makes any sense because imagine if dissection cared about like bajas and the cure because the outcome of that would probably sound like flaga records and century media tribulation with their new full length down below Wow. <laughs> Alright. Starting off as a regular death metal band, pretty much from Sweden, your typical Swedish death metal band. They put out a record called The Horror. It was fucking amazing. Kind of dismember worship. And I love dismember, so anytime I hear a band worship the altar of dismember instead of like the usual suspects, like, um, it's fucking sick, I always just, I, I kind of like, you know, I dig that sound sometimes, it just depends on my mood, but their second album was pretty much a direct dissection and Watain clone, but in the best way possible, like, it kind of outshone Watain. Because like, I saw them on that tour open for Watain, and they pretty much like crushed it besides in solitude. Like, Watain was kind of the weakest link on that show. But Tribulation still have that sound though. On Children of the Night, where they kind of dropped the whole, like, you know, more Swedish black metal vibes and whatnot, and went straight into this kind of, like, goth rock, goth metal stage, mixed with dissection riffs and whatnot, and it was amazing. And they kind of continued that formula here on down below and it works like a fucking charm it's it's the like you could tell they spent a lot of time just dialing that sound in and it's amazing because it sounds like bajas playing black metal like who does that no one except for one band and I actually think um, after they broke up, one of their members joined Tribulation, but I might be wrong. But to me, Down Below is what In Solitude's follow-up to Sister would have sounded like if In Solitude had a more black metal vocal style. And that's pretty much what Tribulation did here with Down Below. It's such a kick-ass release in every way possible. And even the cassette and whatnot, just super heavy duty tape. It sounds great. Like, I really just love like the print and stuff. It's just super, super nice. Flogger Records just, I think, really have been putting out some sick shit. But some of the tracks on here are just some of the best. Like, especially if you're a fan of Beast Milk. I know I've been mentioning Beast Milk kind of a lot lately. It's because they fucking rule. But again, like, imagine Beast Milk, but with 
black metal vocals down below. It's sick. Like, it's, ser it's seriously sick because it works. And it's awesome. Like, the fact that it works the way it does with the keyboards and just these amazing guitar riffs and solos. Holy shit, down below, just listen to the lament. You'll be like, wow, this song is fucking awesome, depending on your taste in music. But awesome, awesome J card. As you could tell, yeah, these guys, Definitely love Christian Death, Bajas, etc. Your usual like goth metal suspects. But like also the cure are like a very big influence to I, I this newer tribulation sound where they kind of, you know, threw the more black metal elements out the window, but they kind of didn't as well because there's parts on here that straight up sound like they're off dissections the Sombralen or Storm of the Lights Bane in the best way possible because it will like have this sick like Swedish black metal riff and then go into this like Bajas part and it's it, it's fucking amazing it's one of those records that like it's like wow Every track on here is amazing, and it all equals a cohesive, kick-ass release. And, like, I really, really love this style of music. Like, taking something that, you know, a lot of bands do, but then making it your own, not only does it take balls, but to do it and perfect it, pretty much, because I kind of look at Down Below as Children of the Night Part 2. And that's not a bad thing whatsoever. Children of the Night is an amazing record. But Down Below just... I think it one-ups it a little bit. And it one-ups it in just the best way possible. And that's being more comfortable with the sound direction they went with after Formulas of Death. And every track on here just gets better and better and better. And, you know, that's very rare. Especially on, no offense to Century Media, but sometimes, you know, they don't really sign the best bands. All I have to say is Suicide Silence. But Tribulation, holy fuck. Like, yeah. Just looking back at their, like, beginning roots with the horror, and then seeing what they ended up with years later here. Like, because they started in 2009. It's not like Tribulation's been around for a very long time. So for them to completely do a 180 with their sound and just make it work better than ever is just worth your time alone to listen to this record because it's so fucking good like I, I can't imagine how they came up with like hey let's mix dissection with Bajas and like these romanticized vampiric heavy metal parts and let's see what the fuck happens because down below to me sounds like a successful experiment into gothic metal and it works in every way there's not a song on here that's a stinker this is all killer zero filler it's a fucking banger i think this was the number two decibel album of the year Definitely should have been number one. I don't even remember what number one was. Or, oh wait. Fuck. I, I don't remember. It might have been number one even. I, I forget. I know it was like top three or something like that. But that like Yuda record, like I think, I, I, don't, I don't remember. But anyways, Tribulation fucking rule.
down below especially like it, it definitely you know has a similar vibe to children of the night so if you've heard children of the night but for some reason have not checked out down below yo you are missing out because you are going to devour these tracks they are so fucking good every track on here like nightbound lady death like those like the the a side of this is top shelf extreme music it's amazing like seriously fucking a moody masterpiece of swedish black metal with a english gothic metal vibe to it that's the best way i can describe tribulation to you guys seriously but also like i said you know beast milk beast milk's one of those bands like go back to climax era beast milk and just listen to it but change the vocals around to a more watane dissection style of vocal delivery and pretty much that's what you're gonna get with tribulation but also add that atmosphere and awesome riffing of the first two dissection full lengths it's amazing it, i know i've said that a million times but it fucking is and i really don't know how else to describe it to you it just really really evokes you know dissection necrophobic if they cared about bajas christian death and the cure if that doesn't fucking ring your bell, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, listen to some devourment or something, but like, if you have an open mind about music, tribulation down below. This is beautiful. This is art. Seriously, this is fucking amazing. It's a great, great mixture of subgenres and just mixed up into this awesome awesome swedish cauldron of tribulation down below is just definitely definitely one of those releases that deserves your undivided attention and i guarantee you'll be buying this in some way shape or form in the near future it's just so fucking good 10 out of 10 like if if you're into that style of music you can't go wrong here whatsoever like seriously like imagine a black metal version of the cure like to simplify things they even i think on one of the other editions of it they even have a cure cover which is fucking sick or that might have been on Children of the Night. I'm sorry. Like I said, they kind of sound very similar because they were evolving their sound. And this is them perfecting that sound. Tribulation down below. Cassettes available on Flaga Records. And this is licensed by Century Media Records. So get on it if you are interested if it's if this sounds interesting in any way don't sleep on it it's just so good and if it's gone like fuck like but we were blasting death crux mutant flesh so fucking good like this reminds me a lot of this but just completely switch the vocal styles up Imagine what we're listening to in the background with dissection style of vocals. It's amazing. But, yeah. I really don't know what else to say. But as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Hell's death.